Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video, we're traveling across the beautiful Virginia landscape to visit the historic town of Appomattox, Virginia, where the U.S. Civil War officially ended when the Southern Army surrendered here in 1865. Even if you don't care about history, this is a beautiful, bucolic place to take a walk on a sunny day, and that's what we're going to do. We will walk this entire area where I'll point out some preserved historic structures. All of this is now part of a National Historic Park. That white house in the distance there is the Isbell House. It was built in 1849 by the Bocock brothers. The house was restored in 1948 and 1949 and preserved from 1992 to 1993. It was stabilized in 1995 and had more preservation work in 1999. This is the Mariah Wright House. It was built in 1823 by a man named Pryor Wright. It's named after his wife Mariah, who inherited it in 1851 when he died. An archeological dig here in the 1960s uncovered a lot of historical artifacts. I didn't get any footage of it, but that tree on the left in the background there has a really gnarly branch, which I photographed. You'll see that image at the end of the video. This was a stable associated with the Isbell House.
Insects were just buzzing all around me the entire time I was out here. I love the peace and quiet out here. It's not often when bird songs and the sound of my own footsteps are the loudest noises around. Straight ahead is the Appomattox Courthouse, which was reconstructed in the 1960s. The original courthouse that was here in the time of the surrender burned down in the 1890s. The official county courthouse was built a few miles away, and this one was built simply to anchor the historic village here. This is the old Appomattox County Jail. It was built in 1870 and served until the county seat was moved after the courthouse burned down. This was the old Clover Hill Tavern built in 1819. It's the oldest structure in the village. It was a bar, a restaurant, and a guest house. In the back were slave quarters, and yes, this was a slaveholding region prior to the war. That building was an additional guest house for when the tavern was full. This was Meek's store, built in 1852. And that red brick building in the distance is the McLean House, where General Robert E. Lee officially surrendered to General Ulysses S. Grant in 1865.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this walk across the historic Virginia countryside. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.